Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? I had no intentions of talking to you all today because I put out a video already today, which was my daughter who spoke at church yesterday. So if you have not seen that, you might've saw the title and thought you weren't interested because it says the good news of the gospel. And you might feel like you weren't interested in that because maybe you already know the good news or perhaps you're not even interested in the good news. But just to support me and support my baby, um, I ask you to go and take a look at that and um, listen to it. It has some great content and give, give her thumbs up just to encourage her. But that's not why I turned on this camera, y'all. I turned on the camera uh, because um, I just got off work. I'm on my way home and I got all my country music. Uh, well, I stopped by, got me some little Italian ice. Oh, I got what, a pina colada, orange sickle, orange cream sickle. Oh my God, who does not like orange cream sickle? And pineapple on top. Okay, but that's not why I turned on the camera. I turned on the camera because I'm listening to my country music and no, let's let's rewind. I was first thinking about a young lady that just just passed away. I think she passed away yesterday. I know her. I know of her. Put it that way. I know of her ever since we were young. I know of her, but I'm really close to some people who are close to her. So we have mutual family and friends. Um, but I wasn't necessarily close to her. But um, I'm gonna say I'm just taking a wild guess that she's about. 41, 42, 43, I don't know, somewhere between 40 and 45. Um, and she was, she gotten deathly ill <clears throat> all of a sudden and she passed away, maybe yesterday. And I'm being, I was told that she passed away from brain aneurysm. So as I'm thinking about that and thinking about how short life is, how fickle life is, um, thinking about my own mortality because every time I hear about somebody passing away especially someone who's like of a younger age I start thinking about my own mortality if they didn't realize that you know I'm 51 I'll be 52 in just a few months my time is coming one day um, but I was thinking about that and just praying too for her family praying for, praying for the bereaved you know her family and her close friends who are, who are family close friends of mine and so I'm thinking about that and praying about that. And then my country song comes on from Scotty McCleary, one of my fave country singers. Um, he won um, American Idol one year. I've loved him since then. But he has a song called Five More Minutes. I absolutely love that song because, of course, my mind goes to my dad. That if I could just have just five more minutes. So the whole premise of the song is... Enjoy your life. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your loved ones. Because if we could just have five more minutes. And that's why I turned on this camera. Because I just wanted to encourage you all. To not sweat the small stuff. Y'all we are too overly concerned. And too hurt. And defensive and offensive about the smallest things um, we are bickering about the smallest things we're getting upset about the smallest thing we're getting irritated by the smallest things. and I'm saying we not y'all but we just give you an example the other day I think it was yesterday my husband got out of the shower and he asked me um, baby where let me see what he said baby where are do I have, oh, this, baby, do I have any um, clean shorts? Do I have any nice shorts? Because I think we were getting ready to go to the movie and uh, see Avenger. And he asked, do I have any nice shorts? And I said, you should know better than I do whether or not you have shorts or not. And um, <coughs> I don't know why I was irritated. I was irritated by him asking me that. And I don't know why I was, and I've been kind of pondering, did you, why were you irritated? You know, why, why did that irritate you so much? And I, I don't know. I still don't even have an answer for that. Why it irritated me and why I answered him like that. But one thing I do know that if something were to happen to my husband and that was the last thing that I said to him, that was the last attitude I had to, towards him, not only would I be devastated because of my loss, 
but I'd be all I'd be so devastated that this was our last transaction with each other. This was our, my last attitude towards him. My husband is so good to me. He's so loving towards me. He's so generous and thoughtful and kind. And I thought when I was thinking about this young lady's death, I started, I was thinking, Lord, I want to do better. I want to be better. I want to be kinder. I want to be more loving, especially towards my husband. Now y'all don't get me wrong. I'm loving towards my husband, but I'm just not the, I'm not the gushy, mushy, lovey, dovey type. <laughs> I just, I can't really explain it. I mean, maybe y'all already see it. You already know it. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether or not I'm the gushy, mushy, lovey, dovey type. I want to be kinder, kinder, gentler, more loving, especially towards my husband, but also to other people. I want to be because I don't want to have to say if I could just have five more minutes. Excuse me, you guys. Life is fickle. Life is so short. Don't get me wrong. Life is good, y'all. Life is, the to me, better alternative than the other alternative. <laughs> um, exclusive of my heavenly home. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I look forward to my heavenly home. I just don't look forward to it. No time within the next 50 years. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share that with somebody. Somebody needs to hear that. I know I need it to. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody's in a relationship uh, where you have, um, I'm going to talk about, you know, a married people. You're in a relationship where you have a loving spouse, but you're picking away at that, that little percentage that you don't like. You're focusing in on that small percentage that you don't like um, that you wish you could change and you're not focusing on the better part of the percentage that made you love this person. You're not looking at the fact that they are um, hardworking, um, that they take good care of the family, uh, that they're honest and they're not out um, gallivanting around with you know, people out in the street. You're not looking at that they're a protector of your family or you're not looking at that wife that <clears throat> she is um, good with the children. You know, you might be looking at the fact that she doesn't cook as well as you would like her to cook or you're looking at that maybe the house is not as pristine as you want it to look or you looking at um, or maybe she's gained some weight and she doesn't look like how you originally, you know, met her and I guarantee you, you don't either. Um, but you're looking at um, a lot of the things that don't really matter in life. You know, is she taking good care of your kids? Does she take good care of you? Um, is she honest? Is she taking care of those bills? You know, you got some women, you get her money, and before you know it, y'all y'all about to lose the house or the car, and you didn't even know it. Is she taking care of those bills? Um, is she loving you? Same way, you know, vice versa. Is that man loving you? Is he protecting the home? Okay, maybe he doesn't um, fulfill you the way you want him to fulfill you. But that's why I always say, and I'll keep saying, that you have to learn to fulfill yourself. You have to learn to love yourself. You have to learn to enjoy yourself. You have to learn how to be happy yourself. Yes, you want somebody to add to that. Because you might say, well, why do I want a spouse if he's not going to add anything or she's not going to add anything? You definitely want someone to add but adding and making up a whole is two different things. So, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm, I'm home. And I just want to um, share with you guys when I thought about the passing of... Um, she's not my friend in any shape or form. But I do know her. And like I said, I know family members who's really, really, really close to her. Um, and my heart just goes out. Because I think she has young girls in their teens. And it was so unexpected. This life is unexpected. So I implore you to, number one, make your calling and election sure. Know where you're going when you pass away. If you say, I don't know, contact me. Inbox me. So we can talk about that thing. Because 
eternal life is serious and you're going to have eternal life somewhere so that's serious but also too while we're here on earth don't sweat the small stuff y'all life is so short don't sweat the small stuff enjoy life be happy be happy <laughs> all right y'all be blessed